So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and remove a virus on your particular iPad. Now viruses look and feel like completely different things. So sometimes you might see a little thing that pops up on your particular iPad screen that will look like a virus, but it's really not. It will say like, oh, warning. Actually, this is an iPad that I made a while ago. This is my thumbnail from my other video. It'll look like something like this actually, where it's just like, oh, you have an, uh, you know, a, a, a device, you have a virus on your particular device. You can see all the thumbnails I made before. It's a very, very annoying thing. But I will tell you, for the vast majority of people who are even watching this video, you probably do not have a virus on your particular you know, device. That's just not how it goes. You normally, in these cases, do not have some sort of virus that's going to be blocking your particular iPhone or anything like that. These types of pop-ups and annoying things that you get sometimes are complete scams and all they're trying to do is make you sign up for certain things and like, you know, sign up for a thing that'll, you know, make you have to pay them. It is not a virus. So if you're getting pop-ups like this over and over again, the best thing you can do is actually clear out your Safari browser. So make your way over to your iPad settings, go into your Safari settings or even on your Mac, whatever you have, make your way over to your Safari settings and just clear your data within, you know, Safari. So clear history and website data that can help clear out some of that stuff. I would also recommend going through and keeping your iPad updated. So go inside of your iPad general settings, which is right here, go and tap on software update and just keep your iPad up to date. It's probably the best thing you can do now. But on top of that, another big thing is to literally just, if you actually have a virus on your iPad and you really think so, and you're kind of, kind of being worried about it, probably the best thing you should do is back up all your data that you can. So download some data backup tool, like, you know, Google Photos, whatever you can to back up your photos, your videos, your app data, all that other stuff, and then to delete everything off of your iPad. So literally just do a factory data reset. It's probably one of the best things you can do here as well. So once and only once you've done your backup and everything like that, you're going to make your way back into your general settings, scroll down into transfer or reset iPad, and you want to erase all content as settings, delete this iPad, delete everything off of it, and then you can reinstall the software and set this thing up back up as a normal iPad. So. That's how I'd recommend doing it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.